madness Banished its madness It's vanished and never coming back My face to the floor and desperation to go home which is where I am right now it's approaching five o'clock almost to the hour and uh, I've managed to get the table pretty much finished and in situ just so I can get an idea of what she's gonna look like when she's all done and dusted before I go up there and show you though there's one thing I'm gonna point out I sprayed all the metalwork and the frame with uh, this. This is the tool station, no nonsense, trade floor varnish. Clear satin. I can wholeheartedly tell you now that it is terrible. It's almost like it's got wax in there. So we did a test piece a few weeks back, you might remember, I can't. Uh, <laughs> and this is solid. I mean, you can't chip the varnish off it or anything and it took to the steel perfectly. And do you know what we used for that? That's right, Wilco's Quick Dry Gloss Varnish. So that's what I would recommend you do if you're going to do this. Just turn the compressor off. So let's fly next door. I know I'm uh, darting all over the place at the moment, but I have to get ready to go home. I've got an early start in the morning. Uh, we're putting the cellar in. That'll be fun. So let's shoot into the new pub and I'll show you what we've made today. So here we are in the new premises. I worked a little bit this afternoon on uh, sanding up this resin. I think a few more hits with uh, some probably some coarser sandpaper to remove these lines and then run it down to the fine stuff and I reckon that will be Rockpool-esque once more. But why well, it really stands out, this is what we've come to see. Check that out, folks. In all its glory. One of two, the second one is gonna stand. Aww. But I'm really pleased with how this has come out. It looks aged and industrial, but we all know that 
this is all fake patina. The timber looks grand. The metalwork is sealed. You ain't gonna get any rust on your hands. And it's the perfect height for standing and drinking a pint. Although we may be including some seating. So all of the bar top is sealed, as is the metal work preventing you getting any rust on your hands and it's the perfect height to stand and it's the perfect height to stand and drink a pint. I just don't have one with me. I've just had a couple with Froggy actually, you missed him, or should I say I missed him with the camera. So I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. The next one, I think I need to figure out how to uh, hide this leg on the inside a bit better. I had to cut into the timber and slot it around, but you know, I don't think anyone's really paying much attention to that. Uh, I wasn't going to put any of the studs either at the top initially, but I thought it was going to be the best way to anchor the table to the steel. And then I've drilled some holes in the back here, but we'll go underneath and we'll screw it into that door. But I mean, for what it is folks, I'm really chuffed with it. I really like the, the, the brackets, the gallows brackets, I don't know what you'd call them. I think it really sets it off with the fake studs. So that's it folks, I'm just waiting for Gemma and uh, Stuart to get back from the tip. They've taken a load of rubbish. This is finished for me now, I just have to make another one and then set about making some more tables and chairs and different things that look similar. We also have to come back in and finish this. That will all be next week. Back bar to come as well. But for today, for Friday and from a very, very tired and weary Harry, I bid you adieu and I'll see you tomorrow. You try to react in time for the action But your fever has grown and killed your sorry soul